For the past couple of years, rumors have been coming out that Idols SA is not the strawberries and cream it may look like on TV. Not only do those young hopefuls go through a series of sleepless nights are trying to rehearse their lyrics. Waking up after barely sleeping five hours, it has been alleged that the contracts they are made to sign are ridiculous and they do not even get a chance to read them through with their own lawyers because you know with contracts you can't just sign especially the ones in the music industry. Stream. One of the contestants, Zanotando, came out to shed some painful light into the reality of Idols SA. Hi, T Squad. I won't say much about Galawa because they taught me streets. But ask me about Idols SA. I'll sing you a sad song. Have you ever been forced to sign a contract and threatened otherwise if you do not sign? Road Zano. This was posted on Mapepandava. People came out with more files from other contestants like Zamakumalo. Hello admin, season 16 winner Zamakumalo was live a few days ago crying. Ati, she's unable to release new music because the label is refusing her to do that. And she said she misses her life before idols because she was the happiest person ever. I stand corrected, but I think even 2018 winner Yanga Soweto said something along those lines about idols and one of the judges also said these kids should be careful what they sign when on idols. I guess they knew what happens. Idols SA can be exploiting kids for their gain, especially if they promise stardom and exposure. These are allegations, but there seems to be trouble there. Maybe they should just cancel the show forever. It's not like they bring us singers with hit songs. And that's it for now. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.